They need a good teacher who can help them lighten their load, carry half of their load or their entire load. Having them thus, the powerful mentor will then help them and advise them to stay on solid ground. Be careful and take steady steps, and be mindful never to go back into that treacherous path. When they reach level ground, they must reflect and not walk down evil paths of the past. Avoid the mud and dangerous paths. Sutra, world honored one, the bad habits of being range. From a beings range from minor to major, since all beings have such habits, their families or relatives should create blessings for them when they are on the verge of dying in order to assist them on the road ahead. That may be done by hanging banners and canopies, lighting oil lamps, reciting the sacred sutras, and making offerings. Before the images of Buddhas or sages, another way to assist them is by reciting the names of Buddhas, Bodhisattvas, and Pratyeka Buddhas, so that the recitation of each name passes by the ear of the dying one and is heard in his fundamental consciousness. Suppose the evil karma created by beings were such that they ought to fall into the bad destinies. If their relatives cultivate wholesome causes on their behalf when they are close to death, then their manifold offenses can be dissolved. If relatives can further do many good deeds during the first forty-nine days after the death of such beings, then the deceased can leave the evil destinies forever. Be born as humans and gods, and receive a supremely wonderful bliss. Commentary: Earth Star Buddha Sattva again called out, "Won't honor one the bad habits of all beings range from minor to major, possibly infinite. Since all beings have such habits, their families or relatives should create." Blessings for them when they are on the verge of dying, in order to assist them on the road ahead. At the brink of death, their parents or family should create blessings for them to help them proceed on the road ahead, which may be the hells, the human realm. Regardless of their destiny, they are benefited. That may be done by hanging banners and canopies. Lighting oil lamps before the Buddhas, reciting the sacred sutras such as the Earth Star Sutra, the Vata Sutra, and other Mahayana sutras, and help them by making offerings before the images of Buddhas, Bodhisattvas, Arhats, or sages. Another way to assist them is by reciting the name of Buddhas and Bodhisattvas. And Pratyeka Buddhas, those who enlighten the conditions, so that the recitation of each name of the Buddha, Bodhisattva, or Pratyeka Buddha passes by the ear of the dying one and is heard clearly in his fundamental consciousness. Make him hear it clearly before he passes away and before his consciousness fails. The fundamental consciousness refers to the eighth consciousness, which is the last to leave the body and the first to enter it. One verse goes: "The inexhaustible and vast triple treasure, treasury, in the deep pool, the waves of the seven come blowing like wind before our eyes, permeated with seas from the senses. The body." And the environment; it is the host who leaves by last and enters first. At the time of birth and death, the eighth consciousness leaves last and comes first. The eighth consciousness commands our false thinking, making it the host. The fundamental consciousness in the sutra text is referring to the eighth consciousness. 
when all the consciousness have dispersed and left. The eye consciousness disappears. The ear consciousness is unable to hear. The nose consciousness, the tongue consciousness, the body consciousness, the mind consciousness all disappear except for the eighth consciousness. Besides the sutras, the Buddha's name or create some married for someone at the point where the eighth consciousness has not yet left, so fundamental consciousness hears it. Suppose the evil karma and offenses created by beings were such that they also fall into the bad destinies. Counting up the evil karma they did in their lives and the retribution they deserve, they will definitely fall into the three evil destinies. If their relatives cultivate wholesome causes and do various good deeds on their behalf, on behalf of the dying family member, for instance, when they are close to death, then their many fault offenses are described can be completely and utterly dissolved so that nothing remains. If relatives can further do many good deeds during the first 49 days after the death of such beings, then the deceased can leave the evil destinies forever, be born as humans and gods, and receive a supremely wonderful bliss. The seven weeks after death, the deceased is under evaluation in their health and their offenses have not yet been determined. Were we to do good deeds for such evil beings during that period of time, they will leave the house, the realm of hungry ghosts, and the realm of animals forever. They will become reborn in the human realm or the heavens and enjoy extremely wondrous happiness. Sutra their surviving relatives will also receive limitless benefits. Therefore, before the Buddhas, wound honored ones, as well as before the gods, dragons, and the rest of the Eightfold Division, humans and non-humans, I now exhort beings of Jambu Vipa to be careful to avoid harming, killing, and doing other unwholesome deeds to refrain from worshipping gods and spirits or making sacrifices to them, and never to call on mountains sprites on the day of death. Why is that? Killing, harming, and making sacrifices do not even have a tiny hair breath of power with which to benefit the deceased. Such acts only bite up the conditions of offenses so that they grow even deeper and heavier. The deceased might have been due to increase his potential for sagehood or gain birth among humans or gods in his next life or in the future. But if his family commits offenses in his name, his good rebirth will be delayed. How much more would that be the case for people on the verge of death who during their lives had failed to plant every a few good roots, to plant even a few good roots. Each offender has to undergo the bad destinies according to his own karma. How could anyone bear to have relatives add to that karma? That would be like having a neighbor add a few more things to a road of over a hundred pounds being carried by someone who had already traveled a long distance and who had not eaten for three days. If that extra weight uh, were added, that person's burden would, uh, would become even more unbearable. Commentary Their surviving relatives will also receive limitless benefits. If family members of the deceased can recite the names of Buddhas, Bodhisattvas, Earth Star Bodhisattva, Ahas, Pratika Buddhas, or any sutra 
then not only will the deceased enjoy extremely wondrous joy, but his living being, uh, living family members will also acquire boundless benefits. Therefore, before the Buddha's world honored ones, as well as before the gods, dragons, and the rest of the Eightfold Division, including Yaksha's Gandavas, Asuras, Garudas, Kinaras, and Maharagas. Humans and non-humans, out of compassion, are now exalted beings of Jambudvipa to be careful to avoid harming, killing, and doing other unwholesome deeds, to refrain from worshipping ghosts and spirits, or making sacrifices to them, and never to call on mountain sprites and water monsters on the day of death.